Hello, I'm Brian, and these are my plans. I'm going to live aboard my 26-foot Thunderbird sailboat here on the property while I build my 32 by 56-foot boat shed. Then I'm going to live in a small room inside my boat shed while I build my 38-foot Centennial Spray sailboat. When that is complete, I'm going to sail that sailboat around the world. Come join me as I make these plans a reality. So I got surprised today whenever I came out to my lot. The uh, Department of Highway finally came and added the extension onto the lot. And here it is for my extended driveway. Gives me about an extra 10 feet or so when coming in. And it's going to allow me to cut the corner so it's not going to be quite as tight. Coming across and then turning that 90 degrees right at the base where my truck is so that's good well we spent a couple of hours out here at the lot today and uh, basically we didn't do a whole lot well actually we did we uh, cut down three trees but our main uh, object today was to clean up around the the piles that we had that had been piled up against all the trees that we still need to cut Quite a pile of it now. It's about six feet high and probably about 20 feet in diameter. And we also uh, threw some more there and that's getting to be about 40 feet in diameter and about six feet high. So we're getting all kinds of branches. And thanks dad for your help. You're welcome. We got about oh, 18 more trees right here to take down a bunch of leaners and stuff. I want to thank my good friend Alan here for coming out and cutting a few more trees. But Alan, I think you might have cut a few too many here on my lot. <laughs> Pleasure as always. And here's my last tree. I'm hoping to lay it down that way, but it does have a little bit of a lean in another direction. Hopefully I'll be able to chop it right. And I should have cut this one down first, because then I would have been done already. Watch out now. So I got my friend and co-worker Alan Mahollan to stop by and have a look at my plans. I changed slightly from the original plan I had due to costs and uh, I'm asking for his opinion because right now him and his wife are living in a little 12 by 12 room up on their nest up in Bayside. So looking at the plans, what do you think of my idea? So uh, you know from the perspective of the dwelling area which is in just the corner here uh, I think you have plenty of room you know and you have it's tight by modern standards but by living as a bachelor this is going to be no issue at all you know because really all you're doing is you are sleeping cooking your meals I mean what else are you going to be doing in this space not much other than editing these videos. Yeah, so, I mean, if you made it more comfortable and you put a rec room in here, I would suggest the boat won't get built. So, this is going to keep you very focused on the build. The one thing I noticed was that the walls are 16 tall, so that means the, the post is going to be a full 20 feet in length. And have you, um, you know, are, have you been able to find a uh, place where you can get the 20s or will it, is it a special order? It's probably a special order in through Kent or if I go if I'm allowed to go with uh, Just solid lumber. I hope to be able to track down some through Betts Mill. Yeah Did they say they would have uh, 20s available? Yes, they they indicated uh -huh. that they would. Oh, that's great so. then. 
Well, if you can get twenties, then you're you're off to the market. And and nice bit of uh, anti sway bracing here on the trusses, you know, which you'll definitely need because, I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but maybe for the listeners, we live in a very very windy place. You know, we're basically a sand bank in the Atlantic here on Prince Edward Island, and when the wind blows it can blow pretty strong and pretty hard so you, you definitely need that bracing on tall walls and so you're going to put concrete throughout the whole yeah. structure okay yeah. just for the ease and simplicity of doing it and the cost wasn't that great if i pour it myself and trial it myself so so are you going to do it in uh three steps or two steps or one step <laughs> I would love to do it in one step, but it will all depend on the temperature. At the time, it will only be after the building is enclosed, right. so the sun won't be beating down onto it, so it yeah. won't set up quite as fast. So that, that probably won't be until August. August, -ish. early September. Yeah. yeah. The temperatures are beginning to cool there. Yeah. Well, it, uh, no, it's, I think it's going to be a magnificent structure. So overall, we're looking at 56 feet by 32 feet. And how long is the boat? The boat itself is 38, so it's not, I've yeah. got about 16 feet, give or take, at either end then. Yeah. And it's 14 foot 2 wide, so I've got a little bit of extra room to set up my equipment for my saw and planer and all those other tools that I'm going to need. So where will you place the boat inside the boat shop? Will you yeah. have it offset to one side? It is, it'll be basically directly behind where the door is. There is a two foot section on this side that we'll have a little bit of wood storage over there. Yeah. Never seem to have too much wood storage. So I mean two yeah. feet is plenty. I've seen people build boats that are within inches of the wall. You know, yeah. It's not convenient but <laughs> it gets the job done. Yeah. Yeah, well, it seems like uh, it seems like a good plan. It's definitely going to be strong enough for our environment. Uh, pole barns continue to be just about the cheapest structures you can build, but cheap shouldn't be confused with poorly built. It's not the case at all. In fact, some of the longest lived structures on Prince Edward Island are in fact pole barns. So they're they're definitely strong and safe and uh, you know. Conveniently, they're not as expensive as, as uh, you know, a, a typical construction method. Yeah. Well, I, I wish you every success with this, Brian. I think it's going to be a terrific space when you're built, and, and really it's like a, a luxury palace to build a boat in, in many ways. Yes. I think you mentioned it. Instead of having a house with an attached garage, Which, I have a uh, garage with an attached house. Yeah, exactly. And very much so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Very good. Yeah. Let's go build it. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs>